this is Lindsay Odin, Special Research Assistant at the Washington State Attorney General's Office, and this is your AGO Moment in History. In this series, our office will be releasing clips from our oral history project, an ongoing effort to collect and preserve the history of the Attorney General's Office as told by the people who have worked here over the years. In this episode, our current Attorney General Bob Ferguson interviews former Attorney General and U.S. Senator Slade Gordon. Senator Gordon served three terms as Attorney General of Washington State from 1969 to 1981. He was later elected to the U.S. Senate, where he served three terms from 1981 to 1987 and from 1989 to 2001. In 1974, Gordon was the first Republican in Washington State to call for the resignation of embattled President Richard Nixon. In doing so, Senator Gordon met resistance from many members of his own party. In this clip, Senator Gordon discusses his decision and the effects it had on his personal and professional life. Um, and just to set the stage a little bit, I think this was uh, 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 1974, I believe. It was February of 1974. February of 74, and as I recall from, John Hughes gives a very detailed description of this, which I encourage folks to read, it's, it's quite interesting. Uh, you were really the first prominent Republican in the state, I think it's fair to say, uh, who... Almost in the country. And almost, I was going to say, I think almost in the country, if I remember, I think that's exactly right, almost in the country, someone certainly of your stature calling for his resignation. I know the governor, specific, Governor Dan Evans specifically, when he was asked if he supported you, sort of backed away from it. So I was curious about this on a lot of levels, but number one is um, the decision to give that speech and to call for his resignation. Um, I guess just talk me through a little bit, well, what got you to that point? And then I'm kind of curious to ask a few more questions, but what, what kind of got you to that point? It's not necessarily part of your job description to do it, but I was kind of curious what your... In the Watergate summer, the summer before that, 1973, right after I had been reelected, I took my family, Sally and the three children, and the wife of a friend and their three children, and we bicycled from Olympia to Boston. Every summer I'd go back, you know, to you know, see my family, and we did it by bicycle, uh, inspired by a junior high school teacher at Mercer Island who had taken a dozen or so of her students on such a bike trip for two, for two or three years and had been, you know, written up in the Seattle Times. In that uh, um, uh, <coughs> summer, uh, when, uh, excuse me, in the, 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 let's see, what year was that, 73, in the summer of 72, when I was running for re-election and before this other yes. thing took place, uh, we met the teacher and her group in Wenatchee when they were just getting started. And <coughs> got in the car afterwards, driving back to Seattle, and I said to Sally, wouldn't it be a lot more fun to be doing that this summer than what we're doing? <laughs> yes, yeah, dear, yes. she said. <laughs> but that was the, you know, that was the genesis of the, uh, you know, of, of the idea. Now, this was before cell phones or, mm -hmm. or anything of the sort. I did it. <coughs> I'm a math nut, and I got coast and geodetic, coast and geodetic survey, you know, 1 to 250,000 scale maps, and I would have a couple of them with me, and about every third day I had a general delivery postal drop, and the office would send me anything I needed to sign or uh, make a decision on mm -hmm. to call in on and the next set of maps, and I'd send the old set mm -hmm. of maps uh, you know, back to them. But <clears throat> that was the Watergate summer. But here we were for you know, the better part of two months, out on a bicycle. Cycling and, across and the country. Cycling across yeah. the country, with a lot of time to think about things. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and not very much intervening in, uh, in, 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 in the way of business. And <clears throat> by the time I had made that speech, I made it sort of under the sort of analogous to the rules that we have for summary judgment. Mm -hmm. uh, only the facts, use only the facts that are not, not in dispute. dispute. Mm -hmm. And I got to the point where I thought even in February, the facts not in dispute said that Nixon had effectively uh, you know, forfeited his office. And uh, so the genesis of it took place the summer before and grew after I, uh, after I got home. So, so what what compelled you to go from coming to a personal belief that he should resign to taking a very public and no doubt contra it was within your party. You received a lot of criticism around the state from your because party. Because I thought he was ruining our party. Interesting. 
now the formal party organization had a different perspective. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember it, I was formally expelled by the Pierce County Republican Party. I think party. that's right. And then they came back and said, "What did you know that we didn't know?" <laughs> <laughs> right. In hindsight, it worked out. In and so, and was that something that, that that speech, for example, that you worked or did, you worked on, was that something that you you communicate with folks internally with your with your deputies, or was that hey on your own at your home? Sort of separate from the office, or do you recall how that worked out? I can't recall. My inclination, it was either all my own or mm -hmm. very little others. And it wouldn't have been my deputies I <coughs> would have talked to. Mm -hmm. If I talked to anyone about it, it would have been Dan Evans or Joel Pritchard. Interesting. Or, yeah, I think Joel may have been our only Republican member of Congress at the time. I suspect I probably did talk to Joel. Mm -hmm. And did you feel, was it partly because you were Attorney General that you felt, I don't want to say a responsibility, but uh, that that added to why you might want yes. to give that speech, I guess clearly, what I'm driving at? Clearly. Yeah. Um, and how did you feel about the, I find that decision so interesting. You didn't have to do it. It wasn't part of your job description, right? No one's presumably asking you to give it. So that's on your own. You're deciding to, to take a stand that's going to make you unhappy with many of your Republican But remember, friends. we talked earlier about most of your work as Attorney General, you're doing somebody else's will. Yes. <laughs> this is what I can yes. certainly do on my own. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. And did you, I guess, how did you, uh, did you spend much time thinking about the political consequences of that? Or did you just feel so strongly it was the right thing to do, it needed to be said, and you're the right person to say it? Well, one or two people had talked to me about running for the Senate that year against Magnuson. So in 76, coming up in 70, 76. Yeah, no, he ran in 74. Well, 74, of course, you won in 80. My apologies, that's right, in 74, because you won in 80. That's right. Uh, <clears throat> and two things. One, I knew after I made that speech I couldn't do that. <laughs> sure. But two, I knew that because of what he had done, it wouldn't be worthwhile doing in any event. Mm -hmm. the, 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 politically, yeah. The, yeah, around the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Um, anything else about that? Unlike that? you, I'm in the minority. <laughs> but you that's right. That's fair enough. About that fair you, enough. You've got a disadvantage going yes. Thanks for listening to this AGO Moment in History. Be sure to like and subscribe to receive updates when we upload a new episode. On our next episode, Senator Gordon discusses the biggest challenges he faced during his tenure as Attorney General, including a feud with one of Washington's governors, a scandal inside the Attorney General's office, and a lawsuit against one of Washington's previous Attorneys General. Thanks, and talk to you again soon.